What's up guys? Today we're going to be checking out the JM Go 01 Ultra Short Throw Projector. It is an ultra short throw 1080p projector. It's an ultra short throw projector, which means that I can have it up really close against the wall and it projects an image just fine. You don't need, of course, a huge room to be able to take advantage of that really large screen size. Guys, not to spoil the video or anything, but it's pretty awesome. So one of the things that drew me to this projector is the fact that it's using an ultra short throw technology. When it comes to regular projectors and even those used in an actual cinema, the technology is the same. So I'm sure you've probably experienced having someone walk in front of the projector and having their shadow cast in front of the screen. That isn't the case with the JM Go 01. Because it's an ultra short throw projector, you can place it on your existing credenza that's flushed against the wall and still get a large screen. With a throw ratio of 0.25 is to one, JM Go 01 can be placed 10 inches from a wall and you get up to 100 inches of projected screen size. It gets really bright when it's pitch black, and even if you have some ambient lights around the house, like lamps or night lights, the overall picture still looks great. The colors didn't look overly vibrant, which I like, but it's also not washed out. I think the overall picture is well balanced and doesn't shift a certain hue, which some projectors I've used in the past have. JMGO 01 cinematic sound is co-created and tuned with Danish loudspeaker company Dynaudio. Simply put, you get cinematic stereo sound to match your big display. The built-in speakers, which come from the left and right side of the projector, are surprisingly really loud, clear, and booming. I'll let you guys listen to it a bit, and I know the video won't do it justice, but just take a listen. be needing to use a soundbar for this. For its audio, you do get loud volume and decent audio quality that's more than enough for music playing. There's also something known as the companion mode, which brings a bunch of cool features. In the companion tab, you can change themes, original, retro neon, and ocean waves. Or project a music visualizer while you play your favorite songs via Bluetooth. Another great feature is the digital art gallery. It's like having a live screensaver on your wall. You can choose from different artworks and add them as widgets so that you can easily change the art depending on your mood. The coolest thing out of those, in my opinion, is the digital art gallery mode, which can display really cool visuals if you're just chilling at home and want some cool artwork displayed at your place. It comes with a few different artwork or visual images, so it's not always going to be the same one being displayed. I personally like that it has this companion mode that also makes it a lifestyle device more than just an entertainment device. It adds a nice touch to any wall and offers an added vibe to any room. Now, another amazing thing is the application that you get is the Jamgo app. From here, you can choose the widget that it displays like this clock, a visualizer, or pieces of art. Some even come with their own sound effects. While you get a remote to navigate the UI, you can also download the JMGO app and use your phone as a trackpad. There's also a feature called Intelligent Image Flattening. With it, you point your phone's camera to align the edges of the screen. It then adjusts any plane distortion in case you have an uneven wall. The O1 actually has this low latency mode built in so that you don't get input lag when playing games, which is perfect if you're really competitive in Mario Kart or any sports games like FIFA or 2K. I think it's a solid choice for gamers, for those people who just want a large screen in their house and they want to just play games and have fun. It certainly gets the job done when it comes to performing at a, at a pretty good level when it comes to playing games, fighting games, shooters, and even games like Rocket League. I gotta be honest, the picture quality, it's like, you know, your typical gaming monitor. We're talking at least, now, based on my experience, anywhere between 18 and 22 milliseconds of delay here. Gameplay feels very responsive. It made a huge improvement over the standard mode. So if you decide to connect your consoles and play on a big screen, be sure to turn on the game mode for the best experience. 
Compared to other projectors I have in the house, the Jamgo 01 is super lightweight, around 5 pounds, which allows me to grab it and take it anywhere. This is the smallest ultra short throw projector available right now. The cooling fans on this are really silent. Honestly, I couldn't even hear it unless I go near the projector. It has autofocus and auto keystone correction available, so you can quickly set it up or adjust if you want to move it around. Eye protection mode is also built in, which automatically lowers the brightness of the light source in case, for example, someone looks directly at it. Now overall, this is a good ultra short throw 1080p projector picture looks beautiful while streaming from my fire stick, and the same goes for gaming. I love the rounded shapes that run across the entire projector. It's really sleek and modern looking. But I love that this projector is not only really functional, but also works as a decor in a way. It's built well, looks and performs great, and most importantly, comes with a price tag that doesn't the bang. I suggest you go for the JMGO projector. I think it's one of the best projectors that I've ever used.